<laughs> all right good morning everybody so i'm back here at harbor as usual i am out here just to get a couple hours of fishing in before i got errands and everything else to do today i just woke up early i couldn't sleep so i was like you know what it's early everyone's still sleeping let's get out here and get my lines wet and manage some fish so i'm gonna be trying out this new rod and reel combo straight from my motherland vietnam I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna throw some top water, some jerk baits, maybe some spoons. Hook up onto anything really big or small. I just don't really care at this moment. So I'm gonna just try to catch anything and everything. So stay tuned, guys. Let's get this day started. I'm gonna rig up this. Well, I'm already rigged up. I'm just gonna put a jerk bait and a top water on. See which kind of top water I'm gonna throw. Let's try. Let's throw the let's throw a bow stick this morning. So Aora black bow stick. Get that seal bouncing around out there. Must be some uh, some bait fish or something going on out there. For me, it's kind of rare to see a seal. Oh yeah, he's thrashing. But hey, he got something. He got something pretty big out there. Darn the jack of bull stick. Current's pulling to my left. Going coming in. So I'm gonna try to cast to my right and let the drift uh, work my bait towards the left while I walk it right in towards me. I'm using the, this is the, you know what? I will explain my combos throughout the video, explain my setups line and all that good stuff. The water is glassy calm. It is not insanely cold like it was the other day. There's no wind. I'm freaking loving this condition right now, but let's see if I can get anything to bite. I'm gonna step a bit away from my gear. Because I don't want to cast and hook up onto uh, one of my eyelids from my other rod. Happened before and it was not a pretty sight. There we go. Got him. First fish ever on this combo. It's a macro. Or whatever. It's a Mackie. This rock's really, it's a big one too. Put this in there. There you go. There we go. First fish of the day, top water Mac. Uh, hoping for a Corvina, but uh, we know how that goes. Oh, there you go. Got something. Got him. It's not, it's a little guy. Swipe at it. Off he goes. Two fish on a new combo. Not monsters, not bass, macro, but they were top water fish. To me, that's all that matters is that caught fish, no skunk, even though it's only macro. And sadly to say, it ain't bass, it ain't barracuda, but it's a macro. And I'll take that. I do not know if you guys recognize this bait. This is the bait right here in um, a charter video that got impaled into my wrist. <laughs> and there's a seagull chasing bait around in the water. There's no trebles on these. These are all single jig hooks. So a hooker ratio may be a little bit lower. But unhooking them will be a lot easier. 
There you go, first cast with the I am a jerk bait. Let's see what it is. Oh, that was a macro, definitely a macro. Oh no, that was a barracuda. That was a decent one. Yeah, that was my fault. I should have kept him pinned. I was first cast with it and I lost a decent barracuda. No one? He came up and he shook his head. There you go. I don't know what this is, but. Oh, it came off. What the hell? What's going on? Maybe these hooks suck. Maybe they just do suck. I don't know. You're by Ichikawa. There you go. Lost two fish in a row. This one is. Could be a macro, could be a barracuda, could be a freaking whale. Oh, it's a macro. Oh, and he popped right off. Come on, these hooks. What? What is up with these hooks? They're coming undone. I'm setting the hook on them too. Maybe that's the issue. Who knows? Oh, there we go. What is this? It's barracuda. Exactly what I'm looking for this morning. Oh, and it popped off. All right, these hooks are not good. That's four fish farmed with this hook, these hooks. Uh, I don't know what it is. Changing out the bait. This, this hook is not is not doing it for me. These hooks are fired. So I got this lucky craft tied on. I didn't realize I wasn't a uh, wasn't recording, but I already caught like five macro on this lucky craft. There we go. Twenty casts later. Slap it on a plastic. Let's see if it's gonna produce anything towards mid column and bottom column or the floor. Already getting bit. That's for damn sure it was a macro because it was going, it was dropping. Yeah, that's a macro. Oh no, it's a halibut. <laughs> I will take it first cast with the Kitec, guys. Got a little halibut. Oh! And he's gone. Oh, there he goes. Little tiny one. Woo! Off to the next spot. It is 7.45, so. Next spot we go, and hopefully we actually stick some this time because I lost, I farmed about three fish, a macro, and two barracudas. But if you wanted to consider it all, I did catch four species. I did catch a halibut, came off the hook right at the rocks. Spotty, macro, barracuda. Let's see what else is gonna bite, you know? I don't give a damn right now. The wind is picking up, so I'm gonna have to go a little bit heavier. I can't really um, finesse it, so I'm gonna have to bump it up to like three eighth ounce and up maybe half ounce we'll, we'll see what happens tide peaks in about an hour and a half so i got all that time right now to uh catch that perfect swing it's going up about six feet so let's go let's get on to it all right guys so taking out the top water for now Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm actually, gonna, I'm actually gonna try something crazy right now for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna throw this giant freaking bait. So, hydro minnow, 
Yoziri, it's about an ounce and a quarter. I'm sure this rod can handle it. Right there. Hydro minnow. It is a floating jerk bait, six inches, 150 millimeters. Let's put this back in the package. Close it up. Throw that guy in there. Got one. It's, it's way out there. Big old macro. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the biggest macro of the year. This thing is huge. That's a macro? Yeah, it's Pacific macro. Uh, people eat them out here. People use them as bait for tuna. Oh my god, this thing is huge. This is my biggest one. Like, people consider them trash fish. Yeah, but. My parents eat them, but they're not here today. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. This thing is huge, guys. Look at that. I don't even know what to do with it. You ever seen one? No? No. I'll bring it up to you right now. Give you a, a good look at this monstrosis macro right here. So they use them for bait, too? Uh, yeah, people cut them up or fly line them. But this thing is big. I thought it was a bonito. That's so big. He's like a good half a pound <laughs> and that's pretty damn big and people pay for these baits like two bucks three bucks for one really? for catfish yeah yeah oh to catch catfish yeah Dang, this thing is gigantic guys look at that the greenback all right let's let him go <laughs> all right giant mackerel off he goes <laughs> So I just want to do a quick recap of today. I got out here around like, I believe it was 6.30. I'm not, I'm, I don't really remember anymore now. I came out here as the sun got up and the water was flat. The, per the conditions were perfect. It was perfect for top water, jerk bait, irons, everything. And you know, it took a while to get the first bite to get going. You know, got stirred the water a little bit. But once the bite started, it, it went off. And I just want to share with you guys real quick with this rod and reel combo that I recently got. Well, I'm gonna show you the reel first. The reel is the Abu Garcia Orange Max 3. I got it as a gift from a good friend of mine when he went back to Vietnam. I know it's not a crazy high-end reel. It is from overseas and what means the most to me about this reel is the fact that it's from my homeland, Vietnam. It looks great. It comes with two handles. It only has five bearings, but I did switch out the bearings to um, air, uh, not air bearings, to some ABEC 5 or ABEC 7 bearings. So I had some laying around. It's a 7.1 to 1 gear ratio. It's, it is a 100 size reel. It has these nice EVA knobs. I think it retails for about 200 bucks. And again, I did not buy this reel. It was a gift from uh, a good friend of mine. And it's a lot cheaper overseas. You know, and, um, if you ever go to Japan, Thailand, Malaysia, the stuff over there they do not have over here. It means a lot to me that he, he, you know, he went out of his way when he was over there on his vacation with his lady to visit family and whatnot, and brought me back something from my homeland, what where I really, really miss the most. You know, I really miss Vietnam, and I would love to go back there and visit my family and friends. 
and do some fishing over there, of course. It means a lot to me. You know, it's, it's not as crazy as all the other reels I have, but it, it's a sentimental, sentimental value. That's what it is. But there was one thing that I did not like about this reel was the, the star drag. You hear that clicking? Before, it didn't have that. It didn't have the clicking star drag. So I had a couple old reels laying around that were missing parts and they were just not working anymore. And I just haven't went, ran around the time to actually order parts for and realize I'm not gonna be using these reels anymore. It was, for example, I had a Tatula 100 sitting there. So I ripped off the drag, uh, the drag clicker, the little module that's in there, slapped it in here, perfect fit, and they gave it that clicking noise. Which is pretty cool. It adds a little bit more, you know, a little spice to the reel. I, I like it. And the rod I have it paired with is the Abu Garcia Venerate. Seven foot six, medium fast action. I love this rod. I mean, it's, it's gonna take me a, a bit a bit time to get used to throwing long rods again. Because I've been throwing a lot of short rods for the past couple couple weeks. Like six four, six five. It was just so easy casting it without having to worry about the rocks behind me. So, you gotta get used to throwing seven five and up, or seven four and up rods again. But it's cool. And as always guys, good fishing. And until next time, stay tuned for the next video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Peace out.